Hello everyone, thank you for having me here and welcome to Sarajevo. They brought me here to talk about success. It's a tough task, but let's try. I think there's no magic receipt or formula to take because there are a lot of different and successful stories and careers that involve completely different approaches. And I'm fascinated by the fact that two people can achieve the same result by taking a completely different path. As teenagers, we dreamed of becoming successful and being rich. But as time passes, our dreams got flooded with dubs from authorities such as teachers, family and friends. There is a saying that America wouldn't be discovered if Colombo listened to all the people who had to say something to him. Like, don't go there, you might die, what you want to do there, and so on. I mean, raise a hand if you've ever been slowed down by these kind of statements, questions, by trying to achieve something in your life. I have, from authorities saying me that I won't succeed, that I will fail, that I should give up. But what if we ignore all of that? What would happen if we pursue our dreams and try not to go with the system? Would our lives and careers end up better or worse? It should be like this, they said. At first, we go to the elementary school, learn all the basics and how to connect with people. Then we should go to the high school, expand our knowledge widely and become teenagers. Then we should pick an in university, pick an industry and deep dive in into it and learn all sorts of things. Then we should get a job, get married, have kids, retire and die. I personally couldn't find myself in this flow besides marrying and having kids. For yes, my pregnant wife is here, need to get home back alive. No jokes. But I couldn't identify myself in this flow. So I was thinking, are there any other ways to have a successful career? I mean, when you look at all of these people, can you assume all of them had the same career path? Of course not. I mean, we, here we have a man who finished medical university and is now a successful doctor. Then we have a man who learned everything from his father and took over his auto repair shop. This woman graduated electrical engineering and IT management and works in cybersecurity. And at last we have a self-taught man who's doing business consulting for his clients. All of them successful, but completely different career paths. The thing is that when we're finishing high school, people expe expect from us that we should know what our careers will be and what we'll do with our lives. I mean, raise a hand if you knew exactly what you will be when you finished high school. I haven't. All of my friends picked an university and they went for it. I was sitting there and I didn't know what to pick. So I just picked criminology. I thought being an inspector must be cool, solving cases, living that life. So when I came to the first classes, I quickly discovered that I was learning from people who haven't been on the field. So I got bored quickly and I quit. I went on doing what I loved the most and it's snowboarding. So I thought next year I might join a sports college. I went for the ent entry exam, I came there, I, with my sports bag, with everything, and I was ready to do some sports. They gave me some exams, some papers. I filled it out, I got accepted. And I, when I started coming to the classes, I found out there's much more theory than sports. I got bored again and I quit. But I really wanted to be successful. I wanted to do something out of my life. So I remember as a young kid, I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards and sell them to other kids. And I even tried to host a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament with my friend to collect some money, buy more cards, and to have a small business out of it. So I thought selling and marketing come naturally to me. And I went on online and started researching. Soon, the monster internet caught me up. I found people who achieved everything what I wanted in life. I could sit down, learn from them by watching their podcast, listening and reading their blogs, watching their videos, taking their courses. I mean, I got really obsessed with all that knowledge absorption and I was learning all day long. And only one year after intense learnings, I felt ready to, 
to go with my own company. So I grounded this company and now it's a big success. Two years after intense knowledge absorption, I felt ready to hold seminars and teach other people ad about these topics. And it's digital marketing. And all of that because of the Internet University. It's not the lack of resources. It's your lack of resourcefulness that stops you, as Tony Robbins would say it. So basically, if you're healthy and if you have a Wi-Fi connection today, there are no excuses to achieve your goals. Because there are 400 hours of content uploaded to YouTube every minute. There are 6 billion web pages on the internet. There are more than 155,000 courses on the course platform Udemy. And there are more than 6 million ebooks on Amazon. I mean, people, do you see potential here? I do, and I use it every day. But there's another problem that came with the internet, and it's called social media. Average social media usage in the USA by teenagers is three to four hours daily. I mean, all that time spent on scrolling, liking, and living the social media life, what for? To satisfy our addictions? Because there are a lot of research studies that show that social media leads to addictions. Because when we use social media, our brain produces dopamine, the hormones of happiness. The same ones we produce when we eat, when we have intimate relationships, or when we enjoy life. So by constantly using social media, our brain gets connected to the dopamine crush, and then we find ourselves holding the phone, scrolling down the feed without even remembering that we picked up the phone in the first place. Does this sound familiar? So what if we started to using the internet in the right way, not only to social media and entertainment? What if you invest one hour a day to learn a new skill? You could watch three to four TED Talks daily. You can take two full-packed Udemy courses weekly. You could read a 400 pages ebook per week, or you could watch 30 hours of educational content on YouTube monthly. What if you invest two hours daily? Not to mention three, four, or more. I mean, we could turn ourselves into learning machines, pick the skills that we need, and absorb them on the Internet University. My learning routine when I was starting was I would wake up at 6 a.m., I would make coffee and start learning online for two to three hours. Then I would work, implement and grow all day long, and I would start learning again at 6 p.m. for one to two hours. With this learning routine, I was able to absorb knowledge really quickly, which enabled me to start my own company, to hold seminars, to hold courses, and to teach others. Here we have Elon Musk saying that you can learn everything you want for free, and I completely agree with him on this. And he's saying that faculty is for fun and not for learning. I don't agree with, with him on this so much. Even I didn't went to college and faculty. I don't agree that it's only for fun. Because when you go to the university, you get the discipline, you get the ground knowledge, you learn how to structure your knowledge and direct it into your goals direction. You get the connections that will help you for your lifetime. And if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, architect, or something other, you need a degree. You cannot pursue that career without a degree. And on the other side, there are a lot of companies who require a degree for the top management positions. And statistics show that in the USA, college and higher education improve salary and employment rates. So high school diploma salary is about 38,000 annual, associate degree 46,000, master's degree 77,000, professional degree 96,000. So by going to higher education and by going to university, you sure improve your rate, rates about success and having a better salary. But what I want you to take from this is that you can start using the internet today to improve your skills and to bring up your odds of success. And if you're a type of person who doesn't like the university and cannot find himself in these topics, you can always go on the internet, pick some careers like digital marketing, IT, graphic design, sales or something other, and pursue it with full power. I challenge you for the next 30 days that you pick one skill and set aside only one hour a day to learn from it. So find some people who already achieved everything you want, start listening to their podcasts, start reading their blogs, 
start watching their YouTube videos, or if you have some money aside, buy their courses. And I'm 100% sure that you will be thankful for that. So whatever you pursue, it might be regular education and getting that degree, which is important and which is very good. Or you might be only going to the internet university and learning everything by yourself. You need to be ready to fail, to stand up, and to learn from your experiences, and to give your best in every time so you can have much success with your career. And if you don't know something, you can just Google it. Thank you.